Dorman the Great, welcome back to another exciting episode of uh, the Hexathlock Season 6, almost said Pokemon Show down there. Today, we're continuing from where we left off last time and uh, going to be heading into the Pokeball Factory. We got some sort of notification at the end of last time that we should head up this way. And uh, adults are talking to this guy, it's Graham Kid. Shoo. The what? We were told to go to the Pokeball factory, right? Um, is there another way in? Is there? <laughs> this might as well be another blind run for as much as I remember about uh, some of these specific components of the uh, of the game. Uh, why do I get that Pokeball? We're going to Pokeball factory after all. Oop. Let's go up this way. The roller skating thing makes it hard to navigate, so let's just use the D-pad here. Oh, right. Found a Max Revive. Oh, that'll be useful. <laughs> okay, seriously, though, where are we supposed to go? Are we not coming into the Pokeball Factory? Is that another thing? Do I just pass through the guy again? We were told to come to the Pokeball Factory. Hello, sir, we were invited. Please. Uh, oh, oh, wait, here. You people. How vexing. He won't let us inside the Pokeball Factory. He'll let us in, you'll see. I'll go talk to him again. Okay. Got it. So we should <laughs> activate something else, I guess. Uh, Alright, so Jana goes up. Oh, and now Serena and Trina are here. Did Shauna and Trez go... Shawnee and Trez go running off just now? What's the deal? We're supposed to meet here, too. I wonder what the matter is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shiny, wait! Stop! That's a little odd. Hmm, what's going on? Well, I guess I'll go help him. Team Flare, there might be something happening inside. Let's go check it out while the guard is gone. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Seems a tad unnecessary, but that's whatever. We'll go in. But anyway, guys, yeah, so in the last episode, we got, what, our sixth gym badge? Our sixth gym badge, and we got two more left in the series. Um, I'm trying to figure out, because my dilemma is, so maybe, maybe you guys can help me with this. My dilemma is that I I don't want to sh sell the Hexathlock short, but I also had another Hexathlock, or not another Hexathlock, another Nuzlocke that I was really looking forward to potentially, I missed all that text. Okay, so those two are battling. Um, I had another Nuzlocke planned for after the Hexathlock that I was hoping to have completed by the uh, by the time that Pokemon Sun and Moon comes out, because I'm, I'm going to do a series of that on my channel. But we're getting closer and closer. At this point, we're mid-August, and Pokemon Sun and Moon comes out mid-November, so we're really only like three months away from that. And in general, my Nuzlockes tend to last a while. Um, is this guy going to have... Ooh! Um... I, I, I forgot, I did teach um, everybody, there was somebody back in Laver City uh, that would teach everybody, uh, all the starters, a pledge move. So, Leo now knows Water Pledge, um, Klungar knows Grass Pledge, and Ulrin knows Fire Pledge. Uh, and those are moves that, uh, in and of themselves, are decently powered, uh, you know, elemental moves. Uh, in fact, I think Fire Pledge was better than anything that Ulrin had already. Um, but also they have interesting combinations that'll come into effect if used in conjunction with each other inside of a, a battle, uh, a double battle or something. So, okay, so this thing doesn't have dry skin apparently. That's what I was worried about. So there we go, Water Pledge. Not the most exciting, uh, animation there. Um, but yeah, so I did, re I did forget to tell you guys that I'd done that after last time. But, there's a lot of stuff, I was looking at my last series, and there's several sections of the game coming up. Like, we have an ice cave, and then we've got a, a Mamoswine path. And, and stuff, and I think even the last time that I, when we did the blind run, ooh, Leonardo did level 40, nice. Um, the last time we did the blind run, we actually combined the Lavera City Gym with the Pokeball Factory, um, and it was, it was a longer episode, longer than I generally like to do uh, these days, but, um, 
Okay, apparently I'm not getting around him there. Do we need to go on the conveyor belt? Um, but it, the fact of the matter is that this, this series is going... It, it's going to be a longer one than I want it to be. And so I'm just kind of... I'm kind of interested. Do you guys care? I mean, we did the blind run. We've, we've hit every facet of this game. And there have been routes that I've skipped... Like, because they were just basic routes or whatever, and, and I didn't really, like, I was like, you know, this doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't attribute to anything, let's just skip it. Um, but, I'm curious, as to, like, what 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 are the what part of the Hicksat, like, do you guys, like, are, are you really interested in? Would you guys take issue with me playing some stuff off camera and just bringing you guys back in for, like, the gyms and, and things like that, or catches or whatever? Or, like, I'm just, I'm really actually rather curious of what you guys think on all that. Um, because, I mean, if you guys are like, yeah, just knock out the gyms in the Elite Four and everything, and that'd be great, then we can do that. If you guys are like, no, I, you know, we want to stick with the Hicksat lock for, you know, as long as we can, just, you know, play the game, it'll be fine. Then we could do that, too. I'm really, I'm not, like, super, you know, worst case scenario, um, I either delay doing that Nuzlocke, or we can have it overlap with Sun and Moon, um, or take a break while the Sun and Moon stuff really kicks off, etc. Now, let's switch Pokemon. Who do we have with us today? Um, okay. Let's bring in Sherlock. Sherlock actually has a fairy move now, I think. But they said they're bringing in Mightyena. So, let's give Sherlock a chance to actually use his stab fairy move now. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of curious what you guys have in th store there. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm willing to do whatever you guys want to see. Um, but I just, I, I just was kind of curious. If you guys don't care, I might, you know, play some stuff off camera. And, and bring you guys in for the exciting stuff. Um, just because, I mean, a lot of this is going to be like roots and trainers and things like that that may not be the most exciting. Um, and uh, and so, yeah, just just let me know what you guys have to think, uh, what you guys think about that. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll abide by, by your wishes and all that. But uh, I guess I could even potentially do a different Nuzlocke in the world. I've got two planned right now. One's probably going to be a lengthier one, which is what I was planning to do after the Hicksathlock. And the other might be a little bit of a quicker one, so I could potentially do that too. It'll just kind of depend. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, and on your thoughts there, I will I will make my plan accordingly. Um, Alright, going around the conveyor belt here. Oh, I also wanted to I wanted to ask you guys as well. Um, as we are, we've got six badges. That means we've only got two more badges to go. Um, I'm starting to think about... I mean, this is the last season of the series, so... I'm starting to think about these things where it's like, okay, so we've got two badges left in this series of like all the Hicksathlock, and I wanted to do something nice to commemorate the the Hicksathlock once it's once it's over with. And I was thinking either I would do or I would you know commission somebody you know that I could find reasonably priced who does good work um, to do uh, kind of a, a commission of like I don't know Tortimer and and some Pokemon from the Hicksathlock, and I was kind of wondering what you guys would. Does it make sense to... Obviously, we couldn't possibly do all the Pokemon we've caught during the Hicksathlock. But we could potentially do, like... You know, I mean, it would still be a lot of Pokemon. And depending... Most people charge by the character, so if I were to, like, commission somebody as opposed to doing it myself, it would potentially get really expensive to, to have, like, every Hall of Famer in there. But does it make sense to... I mean, if, if I'm going to make some nice big... I'm, I'm thinking, like, a desktop wallpaper sort of thing. Um, that I could even potentially use as channel art and all that. Does it, would it make sense to have, you know, do we want to do all the transfers or all the Hall of Fame people or just all the starters or, like, what would, what would make sense to you guys if we were to do some, something to commemorate the Hicksath luck and everything that we've done in the last three and a half years? What, what, what would you guys want to see in something like that? Um, because I would honestly put it out there for people to, to see and, and use as well if they wanted to. Um, it may, we might use it up, it, put it up as like channel art or something at some point. Um, we did buy full restores last time, didn't we? Yeah, there we are. Uh, heal Leonardo up real quick, and actually I want to get him off the bar. He's already level 40. Um, let's see, Bulgarin looks like he could potentially use a level. Um, and so I was just kind of thinking about that. If you guys have any ideas, and I mean, beyond just, because I, I just kind of started thinking about this, so I don't really have a lot of conceptions, uh, laid out yet. But I think it would be kind of a cool thing to do something to commemorate the Hicksathlock here. Uh, and so you guys have, if you guys have ideas of Pokemon you'd like to see in there, 
um, or or you know the setting that it would be in. Uh, we automated the factory to lighten the burden, but put on Pokemon. But it also means there are a few people, so the factory was taken over almost instantly. Pokeballs are stolen by Team Flare. We can't become friends with Pokemon. Well, I mean, that's not true. You're not wearing a red suit. You're not a member of Team Flare. Then who are you? It doesn't matter. Anyway, beat Team Flare. Change the direction of the. Ooh, wait. What was that? Change the direction of the conveyor by using the switch. Okay, we gotta look for a switch, apparently. Well, you and your Pokemon should take a nice rest for a while. Ooh, awesome. Well, great. I just wasted a full restore. Thanks a lot, lady. <laughs> no. I love those people. The heal in the middle of a mission people. They're great. Um, okay, so, okay, we come down the stairs. This looks like it's something. Here we go. Aha! Direction of the conveyor has been reversed. Suckers! Let's see, I can battle this person. Can't I? Nope, apparently not. We can battle... Oh, we already battled this person. Uh, okay, we can come up here. Did we battle this guy already? Oh, yeah, we did. Um, okay, but we get to this room. Great. But yeah, so give all that some thought. Um, how, how you think would be best would be the best way to commemorate the Hicksaf walk? Um, if we were to do it in some sort of artistic way. I'm, I'm curious to see if you guys have any kind of genius thoughts on all of that, because I just kind of have the idea, and what that ends up looking like, I'm not really sure, so I'd love to hear about that, as well as, um, I guess your thoughts on, on how the Hicksathlock finishes up. With, or with a contribution of just five million, you could become a member of Team Player. It's a no-brainer. What in the world are you Team Players thinking? I'll never forgive any group that tries to take the Pokeballs for themselves. Forget it. Quit wasting your time with this person. I agree. No one we can use here. Let's blow this place to smithereens. Well, what do we have here? An intruder? You're one to talk. You, please help me. Oh my, getting a little desperate, are we, Mr. Company President? Well, like I just have to extinguish a little glimmer of hope. Alright, is this our first admin battle with Team Flare? Challenged by Team Flare admin. Doesn't even have a name. But there we go, Scraggy comes on out. Did I switch all her up? I did. Might not be the best thing I've ever done. Um, let's throw up the Fire Pledge. I'm curious to see what that's gonna do. So this is Olorin's new move. Oh, my bad. Oh, I was worried about that though. Okay, huh? Okay. We were faster, yeah, okay. Scrag's dead. Beautiful. I gained experience. Team Flare will send in Houndoom. Will we switch Pokemon? Yep, we will. Um, and... I guess... Sherlock. Sherlock can do it. Now that we have a dazzling gleam, compliments of the uh, Lavera City Gym. Uh, but yeah, so I know that's a lot. You guys can, I mean, obviously... Uh, answer as much or as little of that as you want, but I, I, I do appreciate your guys' feedback whenever I get it, so if you want to, you know, take a moment to start crafting your comments or whatever on, on your thoughts on how this season wraps up in terms of whether or not we touch every little, you know, point in this game, plot-related or not, if it's just like, we've got, and if I look ahead and I see we've got, you know, two to three episodes of just, you know, traversing paths to get to the next gym, you guys really want to see all that? Or or is it just kind of like, you know, just get to the next gym and we'll, we'll wrap up, you know, that. And I mean, I just, I don't, I don't, I just don't know what you guys are super interested in at this point. Um, and I'm, again, I'm more than happy to do whatever. Or uh, if, if I were to somehow uh, do something nice to commemorate the Hexathlock after everything we've done here, uh, who would you like to see in that? And uh, and what would you like that to be? Uh, like, what, what kind of situation? I mean, I don't know. Just us sitting around? I mean, what, what would you guys, what would that look like? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, can you help me fight them, neighbor? Um, yeah. All the kind of injured. That's right, we'll switch them out. That'll be fine. I guess we'll see what their Pokemon are, too. Uh, Metric and Leapheart. Ooh, Leapheart's gonna potentially hit Pursuit. This could be bad. Crap. Um, let's heal. And then we'll switch out, <laughs> I think. Probably be for the best. 
Manitrick used bite. Was that what it said? Taunt. Okay. Alright. It's me a stick fell for the taunt. Okay. Alright. We're okay. We're gonna make this work. Um, okay. So, let's say... Hmm. Heck, let's bring Horatio in. I was gonna say Klungar, but... Klungar just resists, and Horatio should be fine. We'll give it a go. Alright. Manetric used Bite, on the stick, beautiful. Used Home Claws, a boosting attack. Being a rock type, hopefully we will be fine. Disarming Voice, which is gonna, what, lower attacks? Nope, just a super weak move, okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and hail, let's get rid of this Leap Hard since it's setting up. Matrix taking care of the Meow Stick for us. Not, not that I want Meow Stick dead, I guess, but it's not the super most useful Pokemon, probably. She's got something in her arsenal she could throw out a little bit easier for us. Uh, but the return, beautiful. Good job, Horatio. a boy. a boy. Horatio gained experience, blah, 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 blah. And Absol comes out. Okay, so she's got a Meow Stick and Absol. I guess we've battled her before. I should remember all this, but I just don't. Uh, Manitrix's gonna take a, a throw a spark up at Horatio. Horatio takes that like a boss. Absol throws up a slash. Does not do very much, but hopefully the return will. Oh, baby! That a boy Horatio! Look at you, man! What a stud! Alright. So, perfect. So we beat the admins. They each only had one Pokemon, apparently, so. GG, I guess? Alright. Um. Oh my, oh my! So lame, what a shame we got beat! And I'm already! We've already stolen the Pokemon, Balls, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls, let's call it good and leave! You saved us, thank you so much! Your astounding Pokemon trainers for being so young! Very well then, I want to show my appreciation. I'll give you a Master Ball or a Big Nugget. Pick which one you'd like. I think you should pick first. I don't know what a Big Nugget is. Um, I guess we'll take the Master Ball. We don't really need money, so if the Big Nugget's just worth like $10,000, then that's fine. Oh, as a bonus, you can have the one you didn't pick as well. Ha! Take that, Serena, you get nothing! Oh, okay. I just have a feeling you don't put them to great use. You're different from most Team Flare people. Oh, and even I don't know the proper way to use Big Nugget. Still, that blessed Team Flare. We're going to find by taking all the footballs for themselves. I don't know. Probably all they would do was drive up the price of existing Pokeballs, would be, which would be great for you and not really affect anybody else positively. Big Nugget Pure Gold that gives a luscious gleam that could be sold at a high price to shops. Okay, well, there we go, I guess. That was fun. <laughs> um, Alright, let's head on out here. I see there's Pokeballs and stuff. Oh, more. Hey, you think it's okay to go have a look around now? I'm sorry, Team Flamer is stiffing up. It's not a good time right now. Team Flamer, I put that name somewhere. It would be the people in the red suits from a minute ago. That's right, Trevor, Team Flamer. They took all the Pokeballs by force, but they're for everyone to use. How awful. Seems like it would be best not to get involved with those guys. You're right, Trevs. Team Flamer is terrible. What should we do now? According to the map, Dendilamil is town next. Hello clip received. We're bringing you this special bulletin. The Pokeball factory in this area around Lavera City has been attacked. The genius of those involved are unknown. However, this is not expected to have any effect on the sales of Pokeballs. I'm not sure how that's true if they stole all the Pokeballs. Alright. Well, let's see. We've got about 20 minutes here. Um, let us look and just see the way out of town. I think that's the lady who taught us the stuff over there. Hey, you! Flare Grunt! 
Man, these red suits are hard to run in. I'll never catch up with those kids. But the admins are going to be grumpy about this. Yeah, dude, we already ran your admins out of town. You were behind? Okay. Um, so. La Bear City. Let's take a look at the map and just kind of see where we're at. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. All right, so we're in La Bear City. Okay, and we need to head to... Come on. Dendemil Town. Real town, Pokemon Wayfield work together in pharmacy. Okay. Okay. Um, so the exit of the town is going to be south. Let's uh, heal. Did we pass Pokemon Center? I don't think so. I don't think so. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. Let's heal up real quick. And, uh, and then we'll see if we can't get an encounter on the next route or something. Um, I'm not sure what route is next. It might be forfeited. We'll have to check. Honestly, you haven't been paying that close of attention to where we are. I, mean, I don't think we've, I don't think we've uh, violated the forfeit rules or anything. But uh, all right, let's see. Through and route 15. No, route 15 is not a forfeited route. Uh, so let's see if we can't get a catch here. Come on, something interesting. We haven't had a catch in a while, it feels like. Uh, Mighty Yenna. Alright, well. That's not really interesting to me, if I'm being honest with you. Um, let's bring Sherlock in, I guess. I don't know if I even want to catch this thing. I'm a little, I mean... I'm a little dis... I, I, I love this game, but from a nuzlocking perspective... Like, if I could just, you know, go in this grass and find a Pokemon that I want, then it wouldn't be an issue. But from a Nuzlocke perspective, I've been a little disappointed in the catches we've been getting this season. Because um, it's such a mix, and there's so few new Pokemon in this generation, that it's just like, it seems like every route I get onto, it's like, nope, no new Pokemon for you. Same old stuff. Ooh, trainers. Surprise, you didn't invite me, but here I am. Ha, huh, I got it good, didn't I? Yeah, no, you, you got me. Because... Yeah! Okay! Alright, so Quanksire comes in. Oloran's gonna have to get back out of there. Yikes. Um, Alright, uh, Klungar, cause why not? Klungar, come on in. Let's do it. Beauty. And so that are, ooh, Earthquake might actually hurt Klungar a little bit too. Oof, woof. Uh, let's throw up the grass. Let's yeah, Mega Ball, Grass Pledge. See what that does. Haven't used his yet either. I mean, I think they were only 80 base powers. So they weren't like amazing Pokemon uh, or Pokemon moves, but um, it will like if we ever do do a double battle, then it'll be something useful. And it was it's something exclusive to the starter, so I figured since we had one of each starter, uh, we would be fine. Switch Pokemon for Bear Tick. Yeah. Um, Ray is the lowest level we've got on us right now, so let's bring Ray back in. She doesn't know Sacred Sword yet to be real useful against Bear Tick, but that'll be fine. She'll be alright. And I gotta guess she will get the experience she needs to evolve here, so let's throw up a Swords Dance. Bear Tick uses Sandwagger. Uh oh. Attack sharply rose. Became confused. Ray's confused. No, Ray! Heard itself in confusion. Alright. Um, Bear takes pure ice, right? So Shadow Snake should hurt it. Uh, come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. Ray's confused. No! Okay, crap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. It's not very effective. Uh, but Ray's gotta get out of here. This isn't working. Um, let's bring in Ulrin then, like I originally planned to do, I guess. Ray, Ray will still get some experience because she was in on it. And, uh, I like Bear Tick. I've never used Bear Tick, uh, but I would like to at some point. He's a cool looking Pokemon, and I've got a soft spot for ice types. Wow! Oh, it was a crit. I was gonna say, yikes! Alright, this Fire Pledge should hopefully, uh, finish it up. No, not finishing it off, but, uh,. Swagger comes up. Holoran's got that swagger. All right. Holoran became confused. Fire pledge. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fight through it, fight through it, fight through it, fight through it. Yes. 
Hey, boy, 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 boy. Choo. Beautiful. Bear tick goes down. All right, gain experience. Regain. Yeah, it's beautiful. I got enough to go up. Perfect. Whoa, you're strong. You got me good too. All right, let's quickly heal. Um, potion on Ray. Okay, so let us or back to the bag real quick. Uh, let us see. Uh, nope, 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 not roller skates. Town map use. Okay, so we're on Route 15, which. Okay, huh. I guess. Hmm. Let's head to Dendemil Town. I guess we're supposed to be able to get there, apparently. Ooh! Oh, wait, that was a Pokeball! That is not. Oh, that's a trainer. Okay, we're probably going to end up doing this last trainer, and then I will meet you guys back in uh, next episode back at Dendemil Town. This isn't going to be anything crazy. Um, this isn't even the ice cave or the roots that I was thinking about, so I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly not sure what I was looking at previously, but let's go ahead and throw up the Psy Shock here. Get that going. Right in Watch Hog's face. This is the Psy Cup. Um... And yes, yeah, so we'll finish up this battle, and I'll bring you guys back next episode. This is just going to be another standard route. Um, and then I'll, I'll take your guys' feedback into consideration next time for when we come up against, you know, just standard routes again. If it's going to be like an episode of nothing but a standard route sort of thing. About to bring in Seedra. Yeah, we'll switch Pokemon for that. I really need to get an electric move on somebody here, but for now, you know, Quangar can handle it. Um, but yeah, so make sure you give me that feedback on what direction you'd like to see the Hexaith lot go in. If you guys, you know, want to see just standard roots, you know, full episodes of standard roots sort of thing, uh, that's fine. I will do that for you. Uh, but, uh, I just want to kind of get your feedback before. I don't want to waste your time, and I don't want to deprive you guys of another, you know, potential Nuzlocke just because we're, we're, we're just, you know, wasting episodes on, on stuff that doesn't really move the game forward a whole lot besides physically. Um, but yeah, that's up to you guys. Uh, Swoobat wants to switch Pokemon. Switch, um, Ray. Because that is, yeah, that's a Psychic type. And I think Ray has, well, she's got Shadow Sneak, obviously. And I think she might have Night Slash still? Yeah, she does. Alright, so let's go for Night Slash. Swoobat uses Air Slash. Ray takes that no trouble, throws up the Night Slash. Beautiful. Had <laughs> a girl, Ray. Fantastic. All right, and there we go. Pokemon Ranger Chad goes down. Awesome. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's going to be... There we are. I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tormund the Grain. You guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys. And I'll see you all back here next time on the Hexathlon Season 6. And again, let me know what you guys would like to see going forward in the Hexathlon. And what you guys would potentially like to see in a commemorative art piece of art uh, that we might do for the Hexathlock at the end. Uh, six seasons and three and a half years later, I think we might need to do something special. So, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.